Welcome to creativecow.net. My name is Jerfi Silard and this is the second part of my tutorial called Workflow Tips with Shortcuts. Let's look at navigation inside of After Effects. Uh, let me show you one of my favorite uh, keyboard shortcuts. It is uh, the tilde key. So if I put my mouse over any uh, uh, panel, any any panel, and press press the tilde key. It it maximizes it, it in the view, so uh, it puts it to almost full screen. Okay, push it again, and it will bring it back. I don't even have to select the uh, the panel; just hold my mouse over it like this. Okay. Um, oh yeah, let me show you what I'm talking about. It's it's this key. You see this one. This is the tilde key. Uh, okay. And uh, let me show you something really interesting. You see this uh, pattern. I uh, I made uh, this effect with the. Uh, with the use of a text. Actually, this is only a text layer with an effect. So, uh, this is the text layer. It's pre-composed. If I want to open it, I hold down Alt and double click in uh, CS3. In uh, CS4, you double click and you enter the composition. Okay, so holding down Alt and double click. Okay, I'm in the composition. This is the text. Uh, what is this? Uh, BlueFX.net. Who could it be? Um, so I see this interesting uh, effect. Um, it's made with the with the Kale Kale I the effect. Okay, you see this is only this text layer, and uh, oh, I applied the Kaleida effect. Now I could change the the look of, of this by changing the position of uh, of the layer of the text layer okay see changing it like this but mm, I don't really like this okay let's do something else push it up let's see no not yet as good as I would like it to be it would be cool to see both of them uh, in the same time wouldn't it okay hmm? I bet it would so let me show you a magic trick <laughs> uh, you select the the panel, this com composition panel. Hold down Control, Alt, Shift, and N. Okay. Now we have two uh, two views. Two is the same now, but you see that one of them is locked. Uh, so if I open up the text composition, I can see the text on the left side and the other composition on the right side. Okay, now check this out. I'm moving the text and everything updates in real time. This, this can be cool, this can be really useful. When you when you have more complex uh, projects, okay. Uh, what else can I show you? Uh, let's say you have a lot of um, panels, a lot of compositions open, like here. See, uh, you would like to close them fast, but uh, this can be quite annoying. Trying to find that little X, so. Here's a better way. Uh, hold down control and press W. Okay, it closes the panel. Okay, uh, another um, another way to navigate the the comp comps in the open up compositions. Uh, you see, I have many compositions open here. 
and it can be frustrating and, and hard to find the, the exact comb that I'm, I'm looking for. But there is a good shortcut for this if you hold down Ctrl Alt and uh, push the push the comma or the dot key. So if I'm pushing the dot, it, it goes. Uh, so uh, excuse me, Alt Shift. If I hold down Alt Shift and uh, the dot, it's uh, changing the panels like this. Okay, you can move around really fast with this option. Okay, uh, one last shortcut. I made up a scene here with uh, a bunch of uh, 3D layers, as you can see, and uh, and the camera. But that's not important. The 3D text. Now, um, I'm sure you have seen this this look before with. And you select uh, the 3D layers or the gizmos and the edges appear like this and uh, this can be uh, very confusing because I have to deselect with F2, select the layer, try to move it and uh, these gizmos and edges can, um, can really make things hard to see. So um, here's a really useful shortcut. If you hold down Control Shift and press H, H, this everything di disappears. So you can still select the layers. You will still move like this. I'm, I'm moving the layer. See the blue box, but uh, the gizmos and the edges are not uh, visible. And again, if you press Ctrl Shift H, uh, everything uh, reappears. So this can be, this can save you a lot of time and uh, just makes your work easier. And finally, I would like to show you a um, pretty useful application from um, from Adobe. It's called the uh, Adobe Shortcut App. Um, you can uh, download it from uh, from uh, adobe.com it's free uh, you will have the link under the video where you can download it so uh, it's um, it's a collection of uh, shortcuts for all of the adobe products like illustrator photoshop and of course after effects uh, here you have the essential essential shortcuts I advise you to uh, check them out. Uh, here you have all of the shortcuts. Here are the lot of shortcuts. And um, you can put some shortcuts to your favorites. So let's say I like this shortcut and I would like to uh, make it easily accessible. Okay, uh, I click on it and add it to my favorites. Now uh, it will show up in my uh, favorites tag, favorites uh, panel. Mm. I hope this tutorial was useful. Uh, thank you for uh, listening and uh, see.